Hey everybody. So I'm making this video because like a year ago, I made a video about uh, properly ventilating bath fans. And somebody left me a comment, which I didn't see, um, about talking about how you, you get that bath fan to the outside and what you do to prevent cold air from coming back into uh, you know, your vent. And so we do all the same things that I'm sure everybody else does. We uh, vent them properly to the outside, whether we go through the gable, the soffit, um, or the roof. We always try to go through the gable or the roof when we have the opportunity, but sometimes you're pigeonholed into a soffit vent. Um, but if you've done that, and if you've ever run a blower door test with a thermal camera afterwards, you probably notice that they, those systems don't do a great job of limiting the airflow. Um, that negative pressure can pull back in through the vent and ultimately into the bath fan and into your bathroom. And so we use this system called a Cape Backdraft Damper. Um, we've used these for, I bet we've used them for two and a half years now. Um, excellent little system. They come in four, five, six, seven, and eight inch diameters. Did I get that right? Yes, I did. Uh, this is a four inch diameter. We, we mainly use just four and six. This is all we really carry in stock because it's what our bath fans um, require. These units are a much better solution to stopping the backflow of air into a house because they get installed inside of your actual vent. So um, it's, it's not a piece of plastic. They have this fabric inside of them which when the airflow is moving through, the bath fan's on, it's opening this and it's pushing that air to the outside. When the system's off and air would be trying to come to the interior, this unit collapses upon itself. And it really does, I mean, it does a great job of stopping that airflow. We check them with thermal cameras all the time. Um, and, you know, before we started using these, I, I could always see hot or cold air um, depending on the season coming back through the fan. It's it, like, it's, it's very clear. When we started using these, eventually, yes, you do get some of that temperature change coming back through the system, um, but it, it takes a while. Um, they, they really do a good job of, of almost eliminating that air back through the system. And if you're doing a good job of sealing the fan box, um, masticing your your vent to the outside and installing one of these, I, I can promise you they're gonna work. Excellent for new construction. When you're trying to hit a blower door test for, or you're having a blower door test and you're trying to hit an air exchange rate to pass per code, see a lot of houses that fail because of this. Um, the bath fans aren't, aren't sealed and now all bathrooms have bath fans in them. And you know, if you have a four or six inch outlet, you might be pulling 80, 120 CFM back through that fan for each individual unit. So these systems will help a lot. Pretty inexpensive. Um, I think a four inch unit is 25 bucks. Uh, maybe when you go up to the eight inch system, they're 30. Um, but if you're a weatherization or performance contractor, uh, they're going to help you hit those target numbers. Um, and they're, you know, they're also going to do a really good job of, if you're building a, a tight, high-performance house and you're not dampering your bath fans effectively and you've got continuous ventilation, you're, you're doing like exhaust-only continuous ventilation, um, the, the path of least resistance a lot of times is going to be your bath fans. And we see a lot of a lot of houses on the eastern shore of maryland where we are where in the summertime it's it's really humid those bath fans being the uh, path of least resistance for the incoming air that damp air that moist air comes in through the exhaust vent um, it comes into the bathroom a lot of times it's half baths that probably have a an hvac supply in there maybe the door's cold so they're or, sorry the door's closed so they're cold, that room is, and then you get this moist air that gets sucked back in through this fan, and you wind up with mold on the ceiling. And it can be, it can be really bad in some cases, um, like real bad in some cases. And this unit um, helps to prevent that. We've done a 
probably in the past year, I bet we've done three retrofit projects where that was like the specific concern of the customer. And we made the house tighter um, and actually increased the ventilation in it. And we have installed these and um, never had a problem since. So they work. Um, super easy to install. This is a 90, so it doesn't, like it, this is not gonna provide a great representation. You need a, like a two foot or five foot section of, of uh, rigid pipe to be able to install this. This has ridges inside of it, you can see. Um, so this unit isn't gonna go in that because the diameter on the interior of this unit is smaller than it would be on a, uh, on a four or two or a five foot um, piece of four inch or six inch line. But super easy to install. It really just slides into place. And again, I can only go to right here on this, but like, that's it. If, if this is a, a four inch line that, that's connecting to a gable wall, and your gable wall's here, boom, this unit just goes right into um, the four inch line, and it aligns directly with your air barrier and your thermal barrier, if that's gonna be there. Um, but just a great little tool to reduce the airflow um, back into the house and super simple to use. Um, it's got a lifetime guarantee. I've never had to call Tamarack about the lifetime guarantee, honestly. Never had an issue of one of these things that even came installed backwards. I've had check valves for some of our uh, drainage systems that were installed backwards and boy, oh boy, that sucks if you don't check it. But these things, always great. They changed the color. I think they used to be yellow. They're red now, don't know what that's about. Um, but highly recommend them. Again, I mentioned the uh, air barrier before. You know, this is part of your air barrier for the house and in your air barrier should align with your thermal uh, barrier too. But so you want to make sure they align. This needs to be at the as close to the outside of the home as you can possibly put it. Um, you want that fan to be able to build up static pressure inside of it um, and really, really start to, to throw that air at this thing. Uh, but really, it's about, you know, putting it to the, the furthest point out so that you don't get air, especially cold air, like coming back into the middle of an attic. Um, or something like that. But Kate Backdraft Dampers, um, can't recommend them enough. Great little product here. Thanks for watching. And sorry, CRO, CPA, that it took me a year to respond to you. What a jerk.